So if you actually notice, Alpha Investments videos are getting less and less views. And to counteract that, he's making them longer so he can hopefully get more views with longer watch time. So this goes from opening packs to 50 minutes, right? People always say, hey, how do you have so much time to make your videos? But then they can't question him. He's making 50 minute to one hour videos, right? And he's the only employee at Alpha Investments LLC. So customer service, he does that, right? When people were complaining about the play mats, he, he did that. Uh, he was customer service, even though he has very thin skin. And he still has people defending him, but I don't think for much longer. The tides are turning, especially in MetaZoo. And I have covered somebody in much greater detail than Alpha Investments for two free years. He's in jail. He's sitting in jail right now uh, on my other channel. And my other channel has exploded because I was able to identify this individual early on as a scammer, as a cheat, as a thief. And uh, he has admitted to all of this on YouTube. Alpha Investments, I give you I give you credit for one thing, man. Your Timmies are dumb. You you somehow found the dumbest people online and kind of co kind of combined them all together. Because let me tell you what he's doing. He's trying to sell you Doctor Who and Ixlon as good investments, right? He is. Look at the video titles. But he actually tell once he's done selling it to the Timmies. Then he's going to tell the Timmies it's actually a bad investment. And then he's going to outrage against Hasbro. Oh, Hasbro sucks and this and that. And then, and then that will get lots of views, right? So what he's going to do is he's going to play positive, be positive for Doctor Who and Ixlon until he's done selling it to the poor, uneducated Timmies. Then when the Timmies are done buying it, He's going to make outrage videos about how terrible magic is and magic was dying. And, oh, you know, he's going to get banned from magic. So he's got to buy more product. He's going to make outrage videos, right? Like he did with Magic 30th, right? Even though he himself sold a similar product at a similar price point, And I'd much rather have Magic 30th right now than a $700 box of uh, unredeemable garbage. Now, let's put that aside. He gets you to buy all this new Compenna, this Crimson Vow, Midnight Hunt, Strixhaven, Doctor Who, all the all these like shitty products he knows is shitty. And then five, ten years late five, ten years later, guess who is the only one buying the shitty products? The guy who sold it to you. Damn, is he gonna buy them for $89? No. No way. You'd be lucky to get. Eight ninety nine for them, man. And that is the cycle, right? That is the cycle. And people will defend him because they like him. He's got a good personality. They want to be his friend. He's never going to be your friend. He's never going to even spend the time to talk to you, right? Alpha Investments is a very successful business model. And more people will copy this business model, which I think is very similar to whatnot. Whatnot is full of scammers and carnival games and people with mystery boxes and Al Alpha Investment. You got a mystery box. I remember when Alpha Investments told you not to buy mystery boxes. Then he himself come up with a mystery box, and it's okay because it's hilarious. It's six nine in the name. Come on, this is not the same, right? And I remember when Alpha Investment says grading outside of the big three, right? I think you say big three or big two was bad. Then he bought a grading company and grade with him because it's hilarious, right? 6-9. So the magic number 6-9 came anytime he is going to do something that he tells you not to do, I bet you 6-9 is involved. That 6-9, the name is it's somewhere it's, it's somewhere in it, right? It's in the mystery box products. It's in the percentage he owns of the grading company. Like, it, like if you want a clear identifier that you're getting ripped off, just look for this number 69. Okay. This is pretty true in crypto as well. If the entire premise of the product is based on a random number with an in your window, right? Then, I mean, what is a product? Is a product that valuable? Is a product actually created to make patrons happy? No. I don't think any. I think in hindsight, any of these patrons would rather have 700. I, I promise you right now, a lot of these patrons are broke as shit. Because they tell me they broke as shit, man. They're frustrated. They're angry. They're sitting on piles of MetaZoo. 
Like, do you realize, and this is true, I, I, people in co uh, comments confirm this, he was selling a box of Nightfall first edition for $500, 49999 you know, random numbers. Yes, it came over his playmat, which is worthless. Yes, it came over promo. Again, worthless because the liquidity on those are even lower than the box. Guys, think about this for a moment. We are facing financial crisis. The, the you know China could collapse any moment. Things are hit, shit hits the fan. Jobs are being lost. And you mother idiots bought a seven hundred dollar mystery box from a guy who told you not to buy mystery boxes. Just because it has the number six nine in it, what in what what is wrong with you guys? You guys bought a five hundred dollar Meta Zoo box that I can buy online for fifty dollars all day, all day shipped. And you guys are saying, "Oh, your buy list is too low at ten dollars." <laughs> you you guys have lost ninety percent, and you're worried about losing that extra forty dollars. You have already lost. Four hundred and fifty dollars, and you worry about me lowballing you for another forty dollars. That's the point. That's the point. That's why I made that MetaZoo video, because I knew those dumbasses, those Timmies in the comment, would say, "Oh, that's too low. They're selling for thirty-five day dollars all day long." You you lost everything, and you worry about losing that little bit more to me, because it's to me. Because you hate me. But you love Alpha Investment. He can steal all the money. You know, he can make a $700 box that has $10 of value. and Or has, let's call it $70 of value. That's very generous. And I offer you $50 for it. And you say no because you think I'm cheating you for that $20 extra value. Not understanding you've already lost $630 and you are a loser. No amount of loss I can do to you at $50 a box. No amount of loss I can do to you. Even if you gave it to me for free and I set it on fire, you still lost way more from Rudy Chan buying the box at $500. Yet you don't think that way. <laughs> you will when you're broken homeless. <laughs>